1925 seminar. In 1925, Peter Baines prepared an English translation of the Septim Sermons ad Mortuotus, Mortuus, Mortuos. It was privately published by Watkins in England. Young was not identified as the author. Young gave copies to some of his English-speaking students. In a letter that is presumably a reply to one of Henry Morris thanking him for a copy, Young wrote, I am deeply convinced that those ideas that came to me are really quite wonderful things. I can easily say that without blushing because I know how resistant and how foolishly obstinate I was. When they first visited me and what a trouble it was until I could read this symbolic language so much superior to my dull conscious mind. It is possible that Young may have considered the publication of the sermons a trial for publication of legal novels. There are indications that he was ambivalent about publication of the sermons. Barbara Hanna claims that he regretted publishing it and that he felt strongly that it should have only been written in the Red Book. While engaged in her transcription of Liber Novice, Carrie Baines urged, urged Jung to do a seminar on the work. It is not known whether this took place. However, it is likely that the discussion at this time played a role in his decision to speak openly in public for the first time about his self-experimentations and some of the fantasies in the black books. Toward the end of 1924 and 1925, he gave a series of seminars in German at the Psychological Club on the Psychology of Dreams. After this, he gave an extended seminar series in English under the title Analytical Psychology. While these were held at the Psychological Club, they were not formally club seminars. Of the 52 members and three guests of the club in 1925, only a handful attended them. There was greater continuity between those who attended Young's Posey seminars and these. And thus, there was a diversion between the locally based members of the club who had only recently readmitted Young and the more international audience of the English language seminars. In the years to come, the latter would play the dominant role in dissemination of his work. Strikingly, Young began his, this seminar by giving an account of the development of his concepts from the time he became interested in the problems of the unconscious. He talked about his intellectual development and his collaboration with Freud. Following this, with a detailed presentation of his self-experimentation, focusing on the initial period October through December of 1913, his discussion of these episodes by no means replicate, replicates his commentary on them in the second la layer of Libra Novice and can, and can be considered a third layer of commentary, the lyrical and evocative the lyrical and evocative language of the second layer of Libra Novice here gave way to his psychological concepts, which he said he derived from his reflections upon these encounters. As he tellingly note, noted, I drew all of my empirical material from my patients, but the solutions of the problems I drew from the inside from my observations of the unconscious processes. At the same time, his presentation served as a pedagogical function. The audience was largely composed of people he was working with, and we may presume that the, active, the practice of active imagination played a key part in their work. Thus he was in effect using his own material as a teaching exemplar showing how his personal psycho psychological typology was portrayed and played out in his fantasies, how he encountered and came to terms with the figures of the animal and the wise old man and the genesis of the transcendent function as a resolution of the conflict of opposites. 
In addition, a significant part of the discussion in the seminar centered around modern art and how it would, could be understood psychologically. The question of situating his own creative work appears to have been in the background of Jung's mind. A few weeks following the conclusion of the seminar on July 6, Chung went to England to deliver a further English language seminar series in Swanage, Dorset, between July 25th and August 7th. The seminar was organized again by Peter Baines and Esther Harding. The subject was dream analysis and there were about 100 participants. Jung began by presenting a history of dream interpretation. This was followed by an analysis of a series of dreams recounted to him by a 53-year-old widow. 